Hearing what my 23F male friends early 20s say about other women makes me feel insecure. I know that, really, this is a matter of self-confidence and not my place to blame my friends. I just need to vent. It never really used to bother me. I'd just roll my eyes and be like dumb boys and move on with my day. But lately it's starting to make me question myself and how my FWB feels about me. Why do I care? You ask. Because it's more than S3X. We definitely have feelings for each other but it was a mutual agreement to stay friends for multiple valid reasons. I am not your conventionally attractive girl. I don't think I'm hideous. But I'm chubby and I don't compare to the pretty girls. Not like the fake celebrities. But I'm talking real life girls lol. But I know I have so much to offer in my relationships. I'm funny, kind, successful, and just generally a good partner. The most recent event that really stuck with me was my close friend telling me about a girl he used to be with. He said she had the kindest heart. She treated him really well and generally just made him happy. But he got a new job at a restaurant that just happens to have several very attractive servers and he admitted he ghosted her because he was distracted by all the new women. I asked him to describe her to me, and he said, I mean, I thought she was attractive. Not like hot but definitely pretty. A little on the chubby side. It broke me to hear that. How could he describe someone he had such a fondness for like that? And ghost her for these hot women that he doesn't even know? I know this is just my anxiety getting to me. But all I can think about is my FWB talking about me that way and it's making me crazy. TL. Doctor. Hearing my male friends speak negatively about good women is making me scared of how my partner talks about me. You are maturing and realizing who your friends are? Stop excusing it as dumb boys. Boys are no dumber than girls. Your friend is a jerk to girls he dates. That is all there is to it. It is logical to ask yourself how he talks about you. You can ask him straight. Do you talk about me the same way? Not necessary to get honest answer, but to push back and express that you are uncomfortable with that. Whether you are friends or something more, if you can't express that this is even objectively jerk behavior and that it makes you uncomfortable, you two are not good friends. But, I would in your place looked for friends that are not lowering my self-esteem and that don't talk negatively about women like in front of me. He got a new job at a restaurant that just happens to have several very attractive servers. And he admitted he ghosted her because he was distracted by all the new women. Why are you friends with this guy? He sounds awful. Why do your friends get more of a say in your relationship than the person you're actually in the relationship with? You have to get out of your head love. Do something positive for yourself. It sounds to me like you want a real relationship not FWB gig. Go work out. Pump up that serotonin, our body's natural happy drug. Then rethink the whole situation. Also feel free to tell your roommate you think he's totally fk and shallow. Me, chubby mom with a bf that makes me feel like a goddess. Just started back at gym this week because my insecurities are rising in my throat like bile. My logic, make myself better, treat those around me better. Don't let that get to you. If he was willing to ghost her like that he didn't have feelings for her anyways. Relationships don't always end because someone did something wrong. It's important to explore your options until you find out what it is you're actually looking for in a relationship. Ghosting his ex is super immature but ending the relationship to look elsewhere isn't. Also FWB only works if you don't have feelings for each other. One of you is going to get hurt if you aren't honest about what you want. My advice dump the FWB. I know, easier said than done. The problem is by you investing your emotional energy into a relationship that really isn't one. You are closing the door on other potential people that will treat you with love and respect. 
who will like you for you and not be distracted by random other girls. A lot of men will speak badly about any girl. I hear men talk negatively about beautiful celebrities. Just a FYI I wouldn't expect good answers from this sub. Though maybe a few people will give you a measured response. In general the people here give fairly extreme answers and tend to see things as black or white. So I'd take everything with a massive grain of salt. You're surrounded by immature jerks. Change that. Why do you think that Chubby isn't conventionally attractive? Couple thoughts. 1. Just because one specific boy had this thought doesn't mean that all men think like that. 2. If you're self-conscious about your weight, one of the benefits with that issue is that you can actually do something about it with diet in. Exercise. Can't do anything about your height or looks. Without surgery I guess. Basically, you need to surround yourself with more mature people and realize that not everyone has such immature thoughts and would break off a relationship just because a few pretty ladies are around. There's nothing wrong with wanting what you want. I never get angry with women when they move on from being FWB with me because someone hotter came along. This has happened at least a dozen times. Very common in a college town. It's better he leave someone rather than becoming cold and unappreciative because he's distracted by new prospects. People in their teens and early 20s are quite selfish and it's a bitter pill to swallow. But that's life. You said it yourself dumb boys. Don't let it bother you. What they fail to realize is that they are not the male counterparts of the females that they think are so fine. Over time, when the big brain begins to finally take over their body from the little brain, they will come to realize that an honest, dependable, funny person with common sense is a far better life partner than some blonde bombshell. But he got a new job at a restaurant that just happens to have several very attractive servers. And he admitted he ghosted her because he was distracted by all the new women. Maybe reconsider investing in friendships with people who treat their partners this badly. That's just stupid. Everyone knows there are hotter people walking around. Does that mean he just ghosts every girl because there's always someone hotter? The only thing that matters in the looks department is whether you are attracted to your partner. And to be real, generally speaking those guys aren't that attractive themselves. So, hot girls being interested in him, is just a hypothetical situation that is only real in their own heads. It only reflects him as a person. He values looks of potential, hypothetical, partners over a real connection he already has. None of this reflects on you as a person, just him and his friends. So there's no reason to be insecure about anything, apart from maybe friend choice. Honestly sounds like he has some insecurities himself. If he puts that much value purely on looks, maybe he feels the need to prove his own attractiveness, manliness by getting with hotties. Wouldn't be surprised when he gets rejected by the more attractive ladies he goes to complain on the internet about it. That Reddit title will probably look something like this. I left my GF for her. Now she lost interest in me, and then goes on about how she supposedly deceived him. Point is, don't worry about what those guys think about you. They are probably just trying to hide their own insecurities with that behavior. I might give a slightly different perspective than what I'm seeing here. There is nothing wrong with what your friend said. Nothing wrong with that perspective. Him ghosting the girl was a bit bad but chalk that up to being young and inexperienced. Some with what he said was. I've also heard the same from women. If he wasn't ready to be tied down even if that girl was great then leaving was the best thing he could have done. There isn't anything wrong with playing the field a bit while you're young or older as long as you're honest about it. Here he was being honest about it. You're internalizing something that didn't involve you. Your relationship with your FWB is different than the one your friend had with his girl. 
Now maybe you're actually looking for more with your FWB than you currently have. That's something you should be talking to them about. So sad that some men are that empty. Chasing and using and discarding people instead of feeling. Giving and accepting love. I pity them more than anything. My husband and I are completely in love. He loves my body. He loves me for me. He definitely cranes his head when he sees a beautiful woman walking down the street. But he does not disparage or rate them. I find it pretty hilarious that he can't help it and I find myself in the same boat when I see a muscle man around. That's fine, it's not either of us objectifying, but just appreciating. Your friends have a hollowness and disrespect. It's sad. I only have pity for them. A huge part of this is rom-coms showing men over and over that it's not their responsibility to be good. When the right woman comes along they will magically change. That it's the woman who is really responsible for him being good human being. How sad. Don't internalize that emptiness as your own. Find a man who has shed that toxic shitter whose family friends socialized him to be responsible for his own goodness and emotional health. Different men have different priorities and even those change as they get older. Some men will always be looks-based and won't look any deeper. Others are more interested in the whole package. You can't take what your friend says to heart. He is just one man. People have different tastes. Some guys gals like skinny girls. Some prefer curvy. Sounds like the friend you are taking about wouldn't be into you but that doesn't mean your FWB doesn't think you have the perfect body for him. Sounds like you just have a bunch of immature and just generally questionable character guy friends. Surround yourself with better people. You can go looking for pain and always find it if you want to. Some women are like this too. I know grown adult women with careers and mortgages who care if a date drives a cool car. These women are not into cars. They're into status. When you find out someone's values don't align with yours you downgrade them to an appropriate intimacy level. This is not a person you should talk to about their love life or yours because the framework for relationships this person has is not relevant to your situation or your goals. You don't ask a wolf for advice about wool. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.